This is how you find volume. So here we have a rectangular prism and we have the length, the width, and the height. In order to find volume, this is the formula. Volume equals length times width times height. So what we have to do is look at our sides and plug in the numbers. So what is the length? It is four. What is the width? It is seven. And what is the height? It is eight. And now all we have to do is multiply. So four times seven is 28. And then we bring the eight down. 28 times 8, let's go ahead and do that. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 2 is 16. Plus 6 will be 22. So the answer is 224 cubic inches. Why cubic? Because we're measuring how many cubes can fit in this shape, like so. For this problem, we are going to find the perimeter, the area, and the volume. But first, let's do volume. So the formula for volume is length times width times height. Now what is the length? It is 7. So we're going to plug that in. 9 is the width and the height is 4. And all we have to do is multiply now. So 7 times 9 is 63. And all we have left to do is multiply 63 times 4. So let's do that. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 6 is 24. Plus 1 is 25. 252 cubic feet. Remember, for volume, it is cubic feet or cubic inches. Whatever they're measuring with, but volume, you always have to put cubic. Now let's find the area. If you don't know how to do area or perimeter, go back and watch my other videos. I have a video on perimeter and area. The formula for area is length times width. What is the length? It is seven. What is the width? It is nine. Seven times nine is 63. And area, you have to put square and what are we measuring? Feet. So 63 square feet. And now for the easiest one, perimeter at all sides. So what we know about rectangles is that opposite sides are equal. So if this is seven, this is seven feet. If this is nine feet, this other side is nine feet. Therefore, all we have to do is add all of them. So nine plus nine, is 18, seven plus seven is 14, and 18 plus 14, we get 12, 32, 32 what? 32 feet is the perimeter. For this shape, we're going to find the volume. Can you tell me what shape this is? Is this a cube or is this a rectangular prism? It is not a cube, why? because the sides are not equal. If all the sides were equal, it would be a cube, but since they are not, it is a rectangular prism. So how do we find volume? Length times width times height. What is the length? Three feet. What is the width? Eight feet. What is the height? 11 feet. And now all we have to do is multiply. Three times eight is 24. We bring down the 11 so that we can multiply. 24 times 11 will be 264 cubic feet. Why cubic? Because this is the volume. So the answer is 264 cubic feet. Now we have a cube. And the cube has all equal sides. So if this side is four inches, everything else also measures four inches. So now let's find the area, the perimeter, and the volume. Mm, let's start with perimeter. So for perimeter, we have to add all sides of the base. 
So 4, 8, 12, 16 would be the perimeter. 16 inches. Now let's go to area. Area is what? Area equals length times width. So we know the length is 4 inches, but what is the width? Well, it's also 4 because it's a cube and the base would be a square. So 4 times 4 is 16. 16 squared inches because whenever you do area, the answer is squared. And last but not least, volume. What is the formula for volume? Length times width times height. We know that in a cube, all sides are equal. Therefore, the length, the width, and the height equal to 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. We also multiply the height. 16 times 4 would be 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. So the answer would be 64 cubic inches. Before we do this next problem, if you're enjoying the video and you love math, go ahead and subscribe so that you won't miss a single video. So in this problem, they're giving us the area of the base and the height, nothing else. So how are we supposed to figure out the volume? Because for volume, we need length times width times height. All we know is the height, which is eight inches. What about the length? What about the width? So let's remember, how do we find area? What is the formula for area? It is length times width. So 42, which is the area, equals length times width. So two numbers, if we multiply them, will give us 42. Now, if you have your multiplication chart, go ahead and check. Or if you know your times tables, what two numbers, if we multiply them, will give us 42? Well, you're exactly right. 7 times 6 equals 42. So now we know that the length is 7 inches and the width is 6 inches. Now can we find volume? Well, let's see. The height is 8. The width is 6, and the length is 7. Do we have all we need to find volume? Yes, we do. So let's go ahead and find that. We know that 7 times 6 is 42. Now all we have to do is multiply the height. So 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 4 is 32. Plus 1 is 33. 336 cubic inches because we are measuring volume. Before we do this last problem, I want to give a huge shout out to Shelby, Sarai, Yatsiri, Manny, and Rooney. Thank you guys for supporting this channel and I know that you're going to do amazing on your final exams. So let's find the perimeter, the area, and the volume. As soon as you see this, get your formula chart out. It is a cheat sheet. It tells you exactly what to do. So let's do area first. So what is the formula for area? Area equals length times width. What is the length? 2. What is the width? 8. 2 times 8 is 16 and we have to write 16 squared because it is area squared inches. Easy. Now let's do perimeter. Perimeter at all sides of the base. So the base is the bottom portion. So if this side is two inches, this other side is two inches. If this side is eight inches, this other side is eight inches. And now we just add all of them together. Eight plus eight is 16, plus two is 18, plus two is 20. 20 inches. Last but not least, we're going to do volume which is length times width times height. 
What is the length? Two. What is the width? Eight. What is the height? Ten. And now we multiply. Two times eight is sixteen. Times ten will give us one hundred sixty squared. No, no, no. One hundred sixty cubic inches. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to brush up your scales in perimeter or area, look at this video or this video. But before you go, always remember that you are smart, you are loved, and you can do it. Until next time.